fully man-driven cars with no automation at all when a driver's full-time focus was needed, to the first driving assistance, where the system constantly analysed its surroundings but expected the driver to still perform all remaining aspects of the dynamic driving task, to partial automation, where one or more driving assistant systems were starting to take over control with a wide range of technologies, to today's conditional automation, where the driver doesn't need to monitor the system continuously anymore because the vehicle already performs functions independently. We've come a long way, but there's still a lot of work ahead of us towards high automation, where the role of the driver will change significantly to just being a passenger for entire journeys, and finally reaching full automation of all aspects of the dynamic driving task with no human intervention besides setting the destination and starting the system. Join the journey with all the major players, OEMs, tier ones and suppliers, smart mobility players and the most promising startups. Now technology begins to enable substantial benefits beyond safety. This is where we are today. Discuss all future topics of automated driving. Welcome to Smart Mobility Hub, the knowledge exchange platform for automotive decision makers.